Welcome back guys, it's the Tightwad, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install window blinds. The first step in installing window blinds is making sure that you've purchased the correct blinds. So you need to measure the opening that you wish to cover. And this one is 23 and a half inches wide by 71 and a half inches tall. So when we're looking at window blinds, when you're ordering them, you'll be looking for that 23 and a half inch width and then the actual blinds will be about 23 inches wide, but you need to search for that 23 and a half inch width. And then on the length, they can be longer than you need, but not shorter. So we're gonna go with a 23 and a half width and a 72 inch length. The blinds come in this very generic box uh, when we ordered three of them, and they have tons of different parts in them. This is the vanity plate that's gonna go across the front. This is the one that you're going to open and close the blinds with. It comes with a little bit of the instructions, the blinds themselves, and then your hardware kit. So I'm going to get all of this out and tell you what each part does. I emptied everything from the box so I can show you some of the needs and don't needs for today's installation. So we have the blinds. They're obviously a need. We have the vanity plate that goes across the top. Obviously a need. And the wand. That's a need. Then we have the two mounting brackets. These can be used for inside brackets or outside brackets. And I'll show you the difference in those two things in a minute. We have two short screws and two long screws for each bracket. These are the caps that go on the top here just to close in the ends if they are needed. And we will use those today. These are the caps that go on the bottom ends to close them in if they're needed. These are the clips that hold the vanity plate to the blinds. These are clips that if you happen to mount this on a door or something that's going to be opening and closing, the bottom of the blinds will flap all over the place unless you use something like this. And they actually go in the sides of this on the bottom of the blinds. This little peg on here fits in that hole to keep it from swaying back and forth. So we're not going to be needing those for a window installation. Again, those are more for a door. And then if you did use an outside mount where the blind was sitting outside of the window where your frames aren't, sunken in like these. So we're gonna be mounting ours here, but you could also, if you had a flat mounted window, you could put them on, the, on here. And in that case, these would be used. They would slide right in on the back side of this vanity mount. And then these pieces would be your corner caps. So these would cover, cover around the corner so it would look like this. And it'd give it a nice clean look on the side. So we're gonna scoot all of this to the side today and we're gonna get started first by putting our mounting brackets up. I've hung several different brands of blinds before and these are by far the easiest. These mounting brackets even come with some double-sided tape on them so that they hold in themselves in place when you're screwing them in. So all I have to do is stick it up there where I want it and it's gonna hold itself in place. On these, which are also very simple, the blind just clips into them. A lot of the other ones would mount to the side or to the top. I'll show you those in just a minute. These you just put approximately where you're going to need them and then it holds itself in place while you pre-drill and drill in the screws. Here's a different kind of bracket. I don't like these nearly as much as the new ones that I have, but these can be mounted to the side of the window frame, the top of the window frame, or even to the back of the window frame, depending on what you need. Or these could be mounted as an outside mount on a solid wall like this, using these screws back here. One reason why I don't like these is because they're hard to hold in place while you're drilling. They do have these holes in the bottom that you can use a bit extension to get in there to pre-drill and drill the, the screws in. They are nice that they have those top mounting brackets in case you have blinds that are a little bit shorter than the opening in your window. And if you have a little bit shorter opening, then this allows you to slide these in a little bit and the vanity plate is gonna cover up that extra gap. And they are very easy to get blinds in and out of. The blinds just slide in and then this little clip comes down over the top. And you can see this one right here is installed. The blind is in there and then the clip is clipped down in front. And you can see how the vanity plate covers up any of the gap that's at the end. Another thing I don't like about these are these little plastic clips that hold the vanity plate do show whenever you're finished with the install. I'm now gonna start installing these brackets. And remember I said the double-sided tape is already included on them. So the double-sided tape is very beneficial 
for when you push the bracket into place, it actually holds itself up there, which is way easier than trying to hold it and drill at the same time. So I'm going to pre-drill where the four screws will go. And then that tape's gonna hold it up there while I switch over and I put my screws in. This one comes with two short screws and two long screws. I'm gonna put the short screws on the back side here and then the long screws on the front side. And that's just because I have more clearance on the front side. And with that one installed, I can install the one on the other side now. Notice I'm not having to measure with these brackets. These simply clip to the back of the blind. So I've peeled off the cover on the double-sided tape on this one. I'm going to stick it in place. And pre-drill my holes. It's not absolutely necessary to pre-drill the holes. And now I'm going to put my screws in again with the two short screws going in the back holes and the two long screws going in the front. You'll notice that I don't have to keep looking for my screws. I actually attached a magnet to the side of my drill so that I can just attach my screws to it and it holds them nice and securely while I screw in the other ones. And with that done, the brackets are nice and secure and I can now bring my blind over. The next step is to install these plastic brackets so I can put the vanity plate on the front. And I'm going to install them just inside the plastic pieces here and here. So I'll just slide this down and then they snap into place and then repeat the process on the other end. With those in, I also need to put the caps on the end here. So I'll snap one in on this side. Then the same thing on this end. These top pieces have an L and an R. This one has an L. So for the left side, when you're looking at the blind. And then this one has the R for the right side. And then this has a groove in the back side of it. So we'll get the bottom end of the clips in first with it lined up to the ends of the blind. We'll get the bottom end in and then roll it up so the top one locks in as well. And you'll feel it lock into place. Then this piece goes in the hole and it just snaps in. So now we're ready to hang our blind. When installing the blind, I'm going to put the top and this hook first on both sides. And then I'm gonna rotate it backwards so that this clip here engages and you'll hear it and I'll feel it snap into place. It's a little awkward to hold with that vanity plate on the front, but I'm just going to tip it backwards like this and make sure both of those clips are engaged and make sure the blind is in the center of the opening. And then I'm gonna push up on the back. You'll hear it engage. I need to make sure this other side is engaged as well. And now the blind is installed. These are cord free blinds. Notice there's no long string that's a strangle hazard on the right side like older blinds have. These you simply pull down or push up. And then you have your wand on the other side so you can turn it whichever direction you prefer. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check the description for the video as well as the pinned comment for links to the materials that I used in this video. I did purchase these blinds from Home Depot. I've bought them from several different locations, uh, but these are the easiest ones I've had to install and the easiest to use. So I highly recommend them and no, I'm not sponsored by the maker or by Home Depot. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and I'll be sure to reply. Click any of the videos showing on the screen right now and they'll open right up on your device. And as always, I hope you guys have a great day.